Kathy Beatty here with Divorce Support Anonymous. If I had a quarter for every time I've heard the statement, he's a narcissist, she's a narcissist, I'd be pretty wealthy. Because as we go through divorce, that seems to be the catch-all for a lot of selfish behaving individuals. I want you to know whether this is helpful to you or not. I hope it is, but it is interesting. Um, there is something called a narcissistic personality disorder. It's a mental condition in which people have an inflated sense of their own importance, a deep need for excessive attention, admiration, and they lack empathy for others. But behind this mask is extreme confidence lies a fragile self-esteem that's vulnerable to the slightest of criticism. So let me repeat that. Behind this mask of extreme competence is a fragile self-esteem that's vulnerable to the slightest of criticism. So they're typically very unhappy, very disappointed because they're not getting all the attention, admiration, and the favor that they believe that they deserve. Uh, some of the symptoms here um, they have an exaggerated sense of self-importance. They have a sense of entitlement and require constant excessive admiration. They expect to be recognized as superior even without achievements that warrant it. Exaggerated achievements and talents. The list goes on. You get the idea. What's important to know about a narcissist? It's okay in your frustration when you see selfish behavior. Many of you are going to, as you have, spew this. It's a narcissist. Sometimes it's simply a very selfish, self-centered person, which is this side of narcissism. The only reason I'm really bringing this up is how helpful is it to you in analyzing the other person and what they are thinking, how they're behaving, because at this point, we need all of our energy to help us survive the divorce. And there are some things that you cannot control. And your soon-to-be ex or your current ex-spouse is one of those things you cannot control. So instead of using all of that energy to label them, to title them, Use that energy to focus on your own healing and what repair needs to be done from the actions of someone else. You're not going to change their behavior. And if they are a narcissist, in the Mayo Clinic information that I was just reading to you, the therapy is very limited. But that's on that individual to deal with that. You cannot control it. You cannot fix it. So better yet, to use your energy and your time to focus on your own healing, the effects of this self-centeredness and how it has hurt you. What do you want to take from this huge lesson of life and apply to your future? Those are places where we can focus. Thanks for listening. Catch up with you next time. Kathy Beatty, Divorce Support Anonymous.